it's my turn to ask Doreen to give us an idea about her thesis in no more than 10 minutes, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ma tawfiqi illa billah. Alayhi tawakkaltu wa ilayhi unib. رسالة الماجستير بقسم اللغة الإنجليزية تحت عنوان المقاومة والتعايش في بعض الأعمال القصصية للكاتبة ليلى أبو العلا Resistance and Coexistence in some of ليلى أبو العلا's fictional works presented by دعاء محمد أنور دي First I would like to thank Professor Yahya Kamil Yusuf and Dr. Abdullah Bitipsi for giving me the honor to be examined by them also, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Abdel Gawadi Nadi and Dr. Mataz Siruji for being very helpful during my uh, study. Uh, first, I would like to present who is Layla Bilayla. Uh, she was born to a Sudanese father and an Egyptian mother. Uh, she graduated from Khartoum University. Uh, she got her master's degree in statistics uh, from London School of Economics. Later, she moved to Aberdeen, where most of her works have been produced. Uh, she received a high profile for exploration of identity, migration, and Islamic spirituality. Uh, she was awarded the first Kane Prize for African Writing, and uh, her works uh, were translated into 14 languages. Uh, her main works uh, in 1999 she produced her masterpiece, The Translator. The Translator was one of the New York Times 100 notable books of the year. Uh, later she wrote Colored Lights, of a collection of short stories in 2005, The Menorite in 2006, and uh, Lyrics Ellie in 2010. Recently, in 2015, she produced her masterpiece also the uh, kindness of enemies or Carmel Ada. Uh, Abu Laila uh, is also a playwright. She wrote some plays. One of them was the the Insider, which was broadcasted on BBC Radio. In this research, I tried to follow the literature, uh, analytical and historical uh, method. Uh, I had established a contact with Laila Abu Laila and uh, she was very helpful and inspiring during my study for many thoughts. Why resistance and coexistence? Actually, it can be noticed that this theme is uh, continuous uh, in her uh, uh, early works, such as uh, a short story, uh, The Ostrich, or The Translator as a novel, or The Kindness of Enemies. For Layla Bulayla, resistance, sometimes it is against a physical enemy in the field of war, and in many other times it is against hostile media, stereotyping, labeling, or mainly ignorance. And not only she, but her protagonists res resist for uh, their self-identity uh, in, in a multicultural society, or even in their homeland. She tries to find a new remedy based on uh, dialogical discourse of coexistence. Uh, coexistence does not necessarily mean surrendering, nor does kindness surely confirm love for Layla Abu Laila. Uh, I had already uh, enjoyed uh, working on Layla Abu Laila. Uh, I tried to uh, present something new. What's new in my research? Actually, uh, in the beginning uh, uh, of uh, working on Abu Laila, I faced the problem that her uh, themes w had been already exhausted in many other uh, studies, uh, such as the veil, hybridity, Islamophobia, translation, etc. So I tried to find a new way to work on, and uh, that's why I, I went through the historical research uh, which was very much helpful and value added uh, that it was summarized in the introduction of my thesis. Moreover, uh, the, the need arose for finding a new approach that can be linked to the theme. One finding was uh, the concept of disorientation as presented by Ezra Santisu. Uh, also, 
applying uh, Bakhtin's concepts to Abu Layla was very inspiring for many thoughts. My thesis is uh, mainly divided into five main parts, an introduction, three chapters, and a conclusion. Uh, the introduction is a historical overview of the theme of resistance and coexistence. The introduction is divided into two main parts. One uh, concentrates on uh, some uh, concepts that evoke polarity of cultures and conflicts, mainly the clash of civilizations, uh, and uh, it highlights expressions of hate and prejudice, such as xenophobia, turf lynching, labeling. Uh, one of the subtitles in the introduction is, Can a label kill? And actually, it answers this question by giving some examples uh, from history uh, where uh, many uh, famous names were victims of being labeled. Uh, the second part of the introduction highlights uh, the need of uh, in uncovering the unstored experiences um, and the need for a new story of intercultural complementarity between Islam and the West. Um, and also I refer to some uh, studies such as uh, the, a study, some studies done by Nathan Fang and uh, Abdelaziz Saeed who say that a huge number of narrators fail to note the shared values among Judaism, Christianity and Islam as Abrahamic monotheist traditions. Chapter 1 is titled Orientation and Disorientation in the Ostrich and the Translator. Uh, it uh, refers to uh, uh, mainly to uh, Ezra Santiso's study uh, in her book uh, Disorientation, uh, Muslim Identity and Contemporary Anglophone Literature. This chapter uh, tries to uh, apply uh, the concept of disorientation to uh, Abu uh, The Ostrich and the Translator, and uh, the, the chapter also uh, depict the attempt by a displaced Muslim to create a new, more flexible identity that can cope with the uncertainties the, and uh, contradictions of post-colonial existence as advised by Santiso. Uh, Isra Santiso assumes that the main reason for disorientation is religious, not only uh, geographical, as being proposed by Papa, for example. Uh, this chapter examines how Abulayla in the ostrich and the translator counters the stereotypical images of her country, the Sudan, as a place of feminine war. And uh, she establishes a balance between the juxtaposed typical stereotypes. And also the chapter examines some elements and motifs that are always connected to the feeling of orientation. Uh, chapter 2, Heteroglossic Fabric of Resistance and Coexistence in the Kindness of Enemies. Uh, this chapter highlights Bakhtin's five main concepts of Carnival, chronotope, dialogism, polyphony, heteroglossia. Bakhtin uh, claims polyphony, heteroglossia, and dialogism to be the main characteristics of the novel. However, they are often confusing. The chapter uh, highlights Bakhtin's definition of these concepts and Layla Bulayla. He perfects a number of narrative strategies that establishes a great dialogue between uh, the writer, reader, speaker, listener, as an author also, she keeps herself in a position neither controlling or being totally outside the work. The chapter also examines the coexistence of multiple narrative techniques in the kindness of enemies, and how the characters are not internally self-enclosed, by the, but they are always in dialogue as uh, advised by Bakhtin. Uh, also, the kindness of enemies provides a generous scale of the stratification of languages and speech diversity. Chapter 3 is entitled The Chronotopic Frame of Resistance and Coexistence in the Kindness of Enemies. 
and uh, it focuses on Bakhtin's uh, article uh, forms of time and place in the novel and on examining the kinds of enemies uh, uh, it can be noticed that Abu Layla comfortably creates her own chronotope over various geographical locations that span more than a century. Uh, the world of the novel is large and diverse, and the novel timeline starts around 1839 and ends in 2011. This chapter traces the coexistence of major and minor opposing chronotopes as divined by Bakhtin, and the chapter also uh, traces some differences between Bakhtin's chronotopes and the chronotopes in the kindness of enemies. The conclusion gives in brief a summary uh, of the questions and answers uh, presented during the study whether Abu Laila's works have succeeded in reflecting her highly voiced call for dialogical discourses of coexistence even among the enemies. Thank you.